Hello, this is the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 3rd of October 2012 and it's raining but I've got the window open and it's cold so you might hear some cars and a couple of things um, meta to start off first of all, October, October 1st here's my German hat um, Mr. Toasty K, I'm going to mention you later uh, about a word. Anyway, um, I've also shaved my head. Um, so I've got a shaved head, Oktoberfest, whatever. And because it's Oktoberfest, obviously a beer from London. This is really nice. Got it in Tesco's yesterday. Gypsy Hill Ranger, 4.2% alcohol by volume nicely complex i like it a lot anyway so um where do we start with a rant um windows 10 2004 update and osx mojave okay mainline mature operating systems so I said last week I was going to put 2004 update on my laptop. I did. It was generally fine apart from when I booted it up today. And of course, Explorer doesn't load. I am a little bit closer on discovering what's wrong. But it is extremely annoying. And hmm, our friends in Lenovo don't know what caused it. Um there are other people on the web with the same problem i can get round it just bring up task manager and then run a new process start explorer and we're in business so it's definitely something and i've tried registry hacks and that didn't work hmm anyway there was an update last week to mojave yes i know i should be on catalina but atp boys they don't like it um, and I'm quite happy with it at the moment until this update came out and slowed everything down and okay so you got Safari 14 but you know there was an update last night to update the update <sighs> please 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 test your software make sure it works and addresses to contact people if it doesn't really and software updates let's forget about all the new features we can put in how about optimizations and bug fixes and such like he says angrily anyway um so i won't be out in the garden this weekend i was hoping to be so because well, I had an email earlier on in the week saying my summer onions were on the way and they arrived yesterday. And I'd probably need some more compost. I've got about a bag and a half there. That's probably, if I'm lucky, two large pots worth. Um, and I could plant them now and they would get off to a good start. Although it is a little bit chilly. I'm still on 4.5 tog though. Ah. Anyway, so why am I doing this to the camera when I've been doing it just as a podcast with a static um, picture in the front of it? Well, I'd already had a mention from a ex-colleague, still colleague, I suppose, um, who said, I want to see your face, which isn't particularly nice, and it's a bit spotty and all that sort of thing. Um, and then I had another message last week because I did ask for feedback and it said, not so much the face, but the expressions on my face. Like that. Um, and I've got plenty of bandwidth because I'm still in lockdown. Our seven days running figures, uh, 50 cases or 50 positive tests. Maybe not cases. Uh, in 100,000 although our daily total i think is a bit under 10 so i'm hoping next week that um, i'll be out of lockdown and i can be no because i need to be no anyway apparently it's because of my expressions <laughs> uh, and not my ugly mug so two people 
which from last week's viewing figures is 25% of the audience. And if you ask for feedback, you should really get on board with it. Um, and it was unanimous. 100%, 2 out of 2. So that is why my face is back. So there you go. And in October now, the Indian summer has definitely gone away. This time last week, although it might not have been the warmest, it was sunny and really nice. And this week, we've had lots of rain and it was cold. And I was it Monday or Tuesday? The screen on the car was covered in what I thought was dew, but there was a little bit of ice there. Yeah. That's definitely the end of our Indian summer that's definitely the start of October and boy where did September go I know there are still party political conferences but September for me is Indian summer and party political conferences and the nights drawing in well the nights are definitely drawn in and it's got colder and today we have storm Alex I think we might just skirt the amber rain warning but later on it's going to hammer down which is somewhat disappointing um but what can you do um well um yeah um you can think about new tech in the week there was a google announcement and i have my eye well, I'm not altogether sure whether I will or not, but I need to see what the reviews are like on a Pixel 4a 5G. And definitely 5G. Okay, so the 3a is great, but I could do with the extra speed, especially when I'm tethering. And well, 12th, 13th, Prime Day, and maybe an Apple announcement. I'm keeping my 10s. Um, until next year, definitely, if I haven't filled it up with rubbishy videos and pictures and such like, but what can you do? Anyway, as I said, it's another week in lockdown. I wasn't, well, I wanted to be out and I wanted to be away this weekend, um, but there's been an outbreak in the Royal Glamorgan and I think there's six deaths, which isn't very good at all. Um, and plus the fact um, we are surrounded by other counties which are on lockdown so I couldn't really see us coming out of lockdown and North Wales are in lockdown and oh, there's lockdown all around and of course I wanted to get away from Storm Alex I think it might have just stopped raining just a touch um, but there you go anyway Mr. Toasty K on MeWe, the definition of dank. Think of an abandoned farmhouse where the roof is off and all you've really got is the lower floors and a cellar and you go into the cellar and it's dark and it's musky and it's wet and it smells a bit earthy. That's kind of what dank is. Usually used um, for lambics or sours or such like um, but not really in a bad way if you came home and your house smelt dank it wouldn't be good but for beers especially Belgian ones um, it's a good thing I think they also throw the word earthy and leathery in as well your mileage may vary anyway um i was in tesco's yesterday and there was andrew cook there and uh, he was ribbing me saying that i copied all his work in school and i sold it to hugh warren perhaps not um and we were discussing Duval um at the eight point something percent i like it um, I know it's an acquired taste, but hey, it's a Belgian beer. And someone else came along, and he said I was in school with her. And I didn't recognise her. I really didn't recognise her, and I should have. And it was Bo. <laughs> um, and it was like Bedworth Comprehensive School Reunion. Who would have thought? 
after all these years anyway that brings me back to this so i've gone full circle so um take care um feedback has my face scared you has my hat scared you has a combination of them both scared you beginning to ramble on and talk nonsense here don't particularly care there you go anyway um stay safe stay warm stay slightly intoxicated bye bye yep and off